Hey there, Peyton Pelicans. It's Miss Bauer here with your next Makerspace challenge. So this month, it's going to be an engineering challenge. You're going to pick up a kit like this, and it's going to have everything you need to make your very own tennis ball tower. So usually, we do this in Makerspace every year, and it's a group challenge. So if you're going to be doing this by yourself, uh, you might want to make sure you follow all the steps like always, like making a plan, and then making it and testing it as you go. Um, hopefully you have some experience from making towers in past years that you can bring that, that knowledge with you into this challenge. So you're gonna have an instruction sheet like this, but you can flip it over to uh, maybe sketch out your plan. Uh, make sure you review everything you have in your bag. You only have 12 straws. So you're only gonna have 12 straws and um, a tennis ball and a piece of string. You're definitely going to need um, tape for this challenge. So grab the tape from your Makerspace kit. I think masking tape's the best, but any tape could work if you don't know where yours is. So when you make your plan, think about how um, you can use the straws. I don't want to give you too many tips because I think that you guys know how to troubleshoot, but you know, straws are bendable. Um, straws are extendable. So you can extend a straw by sticking one into another one. And also, you can chop them up. So that's up to you how you want to do it. But be, be careful, because once you start chopping something up, it'll be harder for uh, if it doesn't work. You can't like put the straws back together again without lots of tape. So make sure you have a plan first before you start making your uh, tennis ball tower. All right, guys, I cannot wait to see what you guys come up with. Make sure you make a video of it or take pictures of it and share your results with your teacher. Until next time.